Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 18 of my Minecraft Let's Play. Or Minecraft 1.20 Let's Play like it's 2010 again. See, I still remember it, even though it's been about a month since last episode. I do apologize. I will explain everything, I promise. But before I explain that, do you guys want to see 1,200 blazes? <laughs> so if you look at the E in the top left corner... Uh, he says E 1211 out of 1239. So there's 1211 blazes sitting here. We're starting at 74 levels. I'm going to take the next like five minutes and I'm going to kill them. It lags so bad that like when you try to kill them, it, you see what I mean? It just, <laughs> it takes a while. So I'll come back. We had 74 levels to start with and we ended with, okay. <laughs> it's kind of crazy not hearing any noise anymore. We successfully defeated all the blaze. Every bit. Uh, our inventory is completely full. We still have everything from when we fought the Ender Dragon. We still have the Dragon Egg. We still have the two Shulker boxes. I ran straight here because I wanted to get a bunch of XP. Just in case I needed to repair my tools on today's project. So, you probably saw from the thumbnail. We're building a creeper farm today. We really need it. I said I wasn't going to use rockets. And I'm not sure that I will outside of the end. But it would be nice to have TNT because TNT is kind of fun. And I also want to make rockets for in the end. I kind of forgot how to get out of here. It's been a while. So... I run a server, it's called Neo Network, and I'm not going to advertise it on here, I promise, but I'm just trying to explain where have I been for the past month. Also, how do I get out of here? Uh, but yeah, I've been running that for the past month, and me and Lauren also got a puppy, and her name is Hazel. I'll throw her picture on the screen here now. So, she's eight weeks old now, and she's a golden retriever, and uh, when you get a puppy this young, it's basically like... It's not like having a child, but it's kind of like it in that you have to constantly supervise them unless they're sleeping. And maybe even sometimes while they're sleeping. Here's how we get out of here. What am I doing? Uh, so yeah, I've been very, very busy. Uh, I've had, we've had Hazel now for a week. Uh, a week as of tomorrow. Well, today, because this is coming out on Sunday. But yeah, between Neo Network and Hazel, I have been absolutely swamped. But, as I said, this series is never going to go anywhere. This is like a long-term series. I plan to keep this when 1.21 comes out. And we'll go explore new chunks. And uh, start a new civilization somewhere else. It's going to be a lot of fun. Like, I don't plan on quitting this series. This is going to be a very long-term one. So I am sorry for the month between episodes. But I promise you I'll make it up to you. I promise. But yeah, I hope everyone out there is doing well. I know there's a lot of people on my channel who just don't watch the Skyblock content, and that's perfectly okay. You don't have to watch it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can find the server IP in the description. I'm not trying to advertise it. I just want people to know that if you want to find out information, it's in the description. Um, yeah, being a server owner is very... Uh, <laughs> it can be very stressful at times, but that is where the majority of my income comes from. So, you know, if it's between focusing on what puts food on the table and just making YouTube videos because I enjoy them, like I'm making this, I have to choose, you know, what's going to allow me and uh, our three cats, a puppy, and my wife to eat. So, I will always, you know, put them over anything. So, I do have to focus on the servers sometimes, but I promise. I still make these videos because I just love making them. I love my community, and I want to keep growing the community. But in the last, uh, I don't know. Maybe a year now, it's been uh, all my income comes from Neo Network, so that's that. Okay, enough about that. It's dark, it's raining, I'm scared. I haven't been on this world in so long. <laughs> oh, and I'm kind of beacon time, wither time, and XP farm time. I do kind of want an end XP farm. After using that blaze farm just now, it really kind of reminded me that that is... It's an okay farm, but Enderman XP farms are just so much fat. I said the word Enderman, and look, I think we have, uh, I think we found a little, uh, we might need to get Hazel in the game. I know we have a bunch of dogs set out for Lauren, but maybe we should, uh, we should grab a dog and name it Hazel. I don't know if they, uh, I don't know if they come in different color variants. I know they don't, but I wish they did. That'd be kind of cool. Now, I do use blaze rods as fuel. Uh, I was going to say, I might as well just, like, throw all of these in here. Probably more towards the ones we actually use. It looks like I already did that on the majority of these, but we still have some old remnants, some old coal in here from the, the stone age we were in. But now we're running on that, that blaze fuel. It's actually super efficient, and you get so much of it, but you can't make torches out of it, so it kind of sucks. I wish I could make torches from it, but I hope everyone out there has been doing good. I really do. I hope you guys are having a good time. 
I don't know where to put the dragon egg quite yet, so I'm going to put it in the very rare items chest. I'm going to keep the shulker boxes with us. Uh, we'll keep the elytra with us. Uh, we'll probably put the elytra, like, actually in the shulker box since it's kind of an end item. I don't know. I still haven't fully decided if I'm going to end up using it or not. I, I really don't know. As much as I hate to throw that stuff away, we don't really need it. We don't need two extra buckets. Wait, what am I doing? This is not Skyblock. I should just put them up. Because <laughs> I remember I run out of resources all the time. They're like, look at this. I'm just kidding. We have an iron farm now, if you forgot. So if you haven't watched this series before, go back and start on episode one. You're probably like, what are you doing, Neo? And I promise you, it'll make a lot more sense if you go back and start there. Uh, we do have enough cobblestone to make the farm. I don't know that we have enough redstone, so we may go mine. Sounds kind of exciting. Yeah, I, I, I don't think this will be enough redstone. So let's go and let's do some mining. I am going to take a couple of stacks of blaze rods out because I know, at least I think, that to make the kind of farm that I'm trying to make. So I don't even know where my crafting table is. I think you need uh, observers and dispensers. So we need nether quartz, cobblestone. Hmm. We don't actually need any smooth stone. I don't know why I always think they're made with smooth stone. Uh, so we have redstone <laughs> 27 nether quartz. Let's go to the nether and uh, oh, We do have a fortune 2 pickaxe, but only fortune 2 we got 91 levels man I feel like it's kind of I feel like it's kind of time for us to actually get a decent pickaxe I don't know why I keep any lapis over here. I cannot remember why I doubt there's an actual reason I think I just do There you go. There you go, buddy go back the right way I don't even know where all my wood is I feel like it's down there in the villager breeder I do remember that was kind of the last thing we were doing was the villager breeder So we might go down there and check to see if there's anything like missing I'm just trying to throw away the stuff. I know I will not need like I don't know why I keep picking up stop There we go. I know what the signs are from so whenever we ended the last episode Because when I joined back in the world, I hadn't played it in a month and I was looking at a sign and I was like, oh, yeah <laughs> So it's like uh, I'll put this sign down here. I'll make sure we do it the next episode. So I'm a man of my word So if you come down over here, this is that sign that I was talking about. I also uh, put a bed here So I'll pick that up in case I need it Crafting table reminder sign number one build creeper farm. Maybe we'll leave that there forever Memorialized. I don't think I ever added more villagers in here um, I know I got this whole side done and that was an absolute like it was kind of a tormenting task. I'll probably end up doing that off camera on the other side. But do we have wood in here? I know we got just a bunch of junk from when we were building. We have a lot. Oh, we have a diamond pickaxe that we can just go ahead and enchant. And we have lapis and 11 diamonds. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of iron. <laughs> I don't know if we'll need any iron, but we'll take it with us. Okay. So we need to get redstone. We need to get nether quartz. And that was the oak wood that I needed. So I have kind of an idea of what I need to go and do. I just know I want to get a Fortune 3 pickaxe before we do anything else. I'm not sure. I, I think we had originally had a Fortune 3 pickaxe, but it broke. And that was a long time ago. Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. How you doing? Uh, You should uh, kill that zombie. But yeah, this world is beautiful. I still need to protect this village, but look how many Iron Golems we have from our villager breeder. I, 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 I don't remember... But I'm pretty sure we have an excessive amount of villagers. Let's go peek in on them, see how they're doing a month later. Anything changed? No, I took all their job blocks, so they're all they're all they're all unemployed hanging out in there. Oh, there's so much stuff in here, man. There's so much stuff. You know, that's the thing, when you keep a world for a long time, you get a bunch of little project chests, stuff like that. We need to mine this chunk tree. We can't have that sitting here stinking up the area with its chonkiness. This chonkiness. Okay, let's see. We have a fresh pickaxe. And I don't know, did I keep lapis in here? I'm pretty sure I did. I guess not. Wow, okay, well, <laughs> good thing I brought it over now. All right, please do not make me take... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Can I reach it from here? Let's go, nice. To be honest with you, it should probably be down here. That's so close to what I want, but so far. So close to what I want, but so far. Please, Fortune 3. <sighs> Sometimes it'd be like that. I will enchant until I get what I want. I have 82 levels still. And I'm fairly certain I'll get it. Maybe I'll end up combining two pickaxes. Because I know we have some diamonds in that other chest. We can probably get some diamonds pretty easily. 
Getting the rhythm here. Eventually it'll happen, I promise. Eventually. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to take that and run with it. I. <laughs> it, it's Fortune 3, but it doesn't have Unbreaking. Maybe we have an Unbreaking book in here? I know there's a few books in here, but I can't remember what they're... Feather Falling. Interesting. I don't have any diamonds with me. It'll be fine. We don't. It doesn't really matter if this runs out of durability. So we'll go ahead and just use this to get a bunch of nether quartz. The observers are needed because the kind of creeper farm I make that you saw in the thumbnail, basically every, uh, I don't know how often, just like spawns some water out of a uh, dispenser and knocks all the creepers off of the platform down into a kill platform. I'll have to watch a video on how to make that mechanism in the middle, but I still, after all this time, I think I remember how to do it. It's, it's a fairly simple process. I know we need to build it like over the ocean or at least somewhere that isn't super caved out. And uh, I would love to make it look really good and build it like near my base, but I'm trying to think how I could do that. Like surround it with some like tinted glass maybe. I don't even know how to get tinted glass. I know it's a relatively new thing, but I think you need amethyst. It's not a relatively new thing. Well. In the term, uh, in terms of the fact that this game is, you know, over ten years old, no nether quartz. But yeah, it's amethyst plus glass. It is uh, tinted glass. That's what I was trying to get at. Okay, so we'll find some nether quartz somewhere around here. I'm sure it's not going to be too far. The game won't torture me, make me run around like crazy. Oh yeah, dude, just right here. And this is Fortune Three. Okay. Nice. And I don't think we need like. A ton, but I'd say at least two stacks and I'll feel comfortable. At least two stacks. Yeah, I know, Skelly. You're trying to get me, but you're not that smart. It's okay, buddy. It's okay, buddy. Alright, so let me get a little bit more mother... L let me get... A Sorry, guys. It's been a long week. <laughs> Taking care of a puppy. It's been a long week. I'm very tired. But it's not that I don't want to record. I'm just tired. Um, but I did a lot this time today to record, so I am recording. I'm still having fun, but I promise. See, I can't speak. <laughs> I, guess, I just can't speak. It's not that I don't want to record. It's just I'm having trouble speaking, which is like my best, you know, my my best trait as a YouTuber. I can give a solid consciousness flow for like hours on end, but my brain right now is like, bruh. Okay, that's one stack on camera. Let me get the other one. All right, well, we got the nether quartz that we needed. It's like we have over two stacks, which is perfect. Mine is tricky to get, because it'll be on the ceiling. And like, I am not Spider-Man, so it takes a little bit to get. Just gonna pill her up with some nether quartz and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. Hopefully you, uh, hopefully you missed the series. And again, I, I, I can't be apologetic enough, but I'm glad we're back. I'm glad we're back. I'll try to do about one of these a week. Now that uh, Skyblock has successfully launched its next season, I have a little bit more time to uh, spend on making the Let's Play. Okay. So we need redstone now, so let's go mine. I, I feel like we have a mine. And then we turned it into a double dungeon farm, which is still crazy that we have double dungeons on this one. I, I still cannot get over that. I remember this staircase was the first one we made on the first night. For some reason, I decided to make this with a stone tool. I don't know what was going through my mind. I have no idea. But I do know that there are caves down here. I also know that the warden is down here. And someone in the comments said, Neo, you should gear up and go fight the warden. I would love to do that. But the last time I fought the warden, I feel like... I feel like... Maybe it was in the hardcore Let's Play. I don't know. But I do remember being very frustrated, so I need to prepare a little bit more than I did last time. I did end up killing it, but I did cheese it, right? So I, I built up into the ceiling far enough away where its beam attack couldn't get me. And then I just kind of shot it until it died. And Mojang never really intended people to kill the warden, like, at all. That was just, like, never intended. I also don't know where... Oh, nice. She dug this out perfectly. I know the cave is somewhere around here. AKA right here. And there should be redstone in here since we're pretty low. So we'll look around a little bit. I haven't caved in so long. It feels nice, man. It feels nice to be back in the back in the mine. Oh no. I just like instantly hear the Captain Sparkles song. 
Is this a big iron vein when we were like trying to find one of those so long ago? I mean, we have an iron farm now, so there's really no point in mining it, but I remember I was desperately looking for a big vein and it took me an hour, like literally an hour to find just tunneling underground, which an hour isn't that long, but an hour tunneling underground and that's like all you were doing. That's a long time. That's a long time. I see a little bit of redstone up here. We'll go grab that. We don't need like a ton. I think it's two per and we already have like over a stack. I don't even know how many we really need. We might actually already have enough because the dispenser requires two. There'll probably be like eight, nine or 10 layers. So that's 10 observers. I don't quite know. Let's just make sure we don't have to go back down here. So let's get like four stacks of redstone. Uh, that's not the way. Maybe over here. I don't think I've been over here because it's not lit up. I haven't lost my parkour ability. It's kind of nice. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like that evil cackle. Where are you? Okay, now we're poisoned. Where Where are you? Where are you hiding at? Bruh. At least we're finding a lot of redstone. Oh, hey. Nice. Cool. Well, I'm going to hide while this poison affects me so that I do not die. See you guys when it's done. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I found a really big part of this cave. And uh, somewhere off to the side. And I found another big iron vein, which is like, bruh. Why do I keep finding these the second I don't look for them? And I'm going to try to talk a little bit quieter than I usually do. Because it's kind of late at night. And uh, Hazel is taking a nap. And she has been awake for so long. So I know she's super tired. So I don't want to wake her up. But that's okay. Uh, it's also really dark. So I haven't recorded. But hey, look. We have over four stacks of redstone. So... I have no earthly idea how to get out of here, so I think we're just going to tunnel straight up and uh, hope for the best. We'll just eat build with this netherrack, so, yep, I'll come back in just a bit when I've made it to, oh, when I've made it to the surface. Hey, dude, oh, 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 not that, not that, not that, not the creeper, please. I see light, and I think this is definitely the surface. I don't know what else it would be. Hopefully there's some coal in here because it, yay, let's go, dude. Everything's working now. Everything's aligning now. So I don't know. Oh, this is my silk touch pickaxe. Whoops. It's okay. We'll put it down in a second. I have a ton of coal at the house, but I don't want to have to go all the way back there. I think, well, we'll have to go back there for the materials to build the actual farm anyways. So there's more. I guess we only need eight pieces, so it's probably, yeah, it'll be fine. So I think we'll build it out of smooth stone since we broke this whole room for the villager like trading hall uh, with this silk touch pickaxe. So we have a, like a ton of smooth stone and I think that looks better than building it out of like cobblestone or something. So we don't need this, 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 this. Okay. Let me break this with my fortune. Sure. That is perfect. As long as we get enough to make a stack of torches, I'll be a happy camper. Nice. Okay. It's nice to have silk touch, but sometimes it's very annoying because you end up, well, not multiplying your ores. You got to bring them back for processing later. Easy way out. Easy way out. There we go. Water bucket method is definitely slept on. So much easier than trying to pillar your way out. And it doesn't leave a mess. But it can be a little bit hard. Like on bedrock, I don't think you can do that. Oh, we're right here? Bruh, are you see <sighs> It's okay. It's okay. We're all good. Okay, so I need dispensers, which... Oh, don't those require... Oh... Uh, don't those require a lot of string? I don't think I have enough string, do I? I have a looting three swords. We could wait till the night. Let me just watch a tutorial and make sure we need dispensers, not droppers. Hold on. I honestly can't find a tutorial for what I'm looking for, but I know how to build it. And you only need one dispenser per layer. So I think we'll be just fine. Let's just go look because we might have string from something. Or maybe I'm forgetting some method we had for getting string. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Heck yeah, dude. Uh... 
<laughs> okay. Maybe not. If only you could make wool into string, we'd be just fine. Yeah, because dispensers require a bow. Mm, oof. Okay. Yeah, that kind of throws a wrench into the plans. Only have enough for three. Wait a second. Dude, sometimes... I'm going to keep the string, but like sometimes I don't know what has happened to my Minecraft knowledge, but I need to brush up on it. We have a, a double dungeon farm, and one of the mobs in it is skeletons who drop bows. We have a whole double chest full of bows already. Which you guys were probably telling me in the comments, or just being like, Neo, come, come on, dude. I get it. I'm going to rectify my uh, mistake. Let's go check, because I'm pretty sure we have a bunch, but I'm not sure. I'm not for sure, but I'm pretty sure. That is the last thing we need, then. Uh, we have the nether quartz. Uh, we can get cobblestone from any variety of chests. So that should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll have to repair the bows, but it takes like three seconds. We just need like ten bows, and you know what's nice is we have this to put stuff in. We didn't even put the lapis up. We'll just put it in there. We'll just put it in there. Yeah, dude, look at this. Look at all these. All you gotta do is boom, boom. I'm gonna combine these bows for a while. <laughs> I'll come back when I'm done. I'm to try to do it efficiently, where you use like really low durability ones. Cause like this one and this one, you could combine and get a full one, but it's like not a good idea. But like this one, there we go, full one. This one plus this one, full one. Nice, we got two. And then we can go ahead and craft the other ones. Finally did end up putting a crafting table down here, which is good. I'll just craft the bow. Okay, here we go. So there's three more. So one, two, three. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we just need to craft a few more. So I think this should be enough. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll craft them. Okay, well, I only have enough to make eight. So we'll just end up doing eight layers, which is fine. Uh, I don't think we have any cobblestone down here, so we'll have to go back up to the house, but so nice having shulker boxes. That's like seriously a big, big plus. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. I forgot we had them in here too. Okay, we're good, we're good. I'll make them. Okay, now I think we have more than enough. Okay, yep, we do. All right, so I'm gonna craft the, uh, uh, I'm glad we brought this because we're gonna need a ton of buckets of water. We do want to make sure we have two buckets of water, though, so I'm going to actually go down here. We'll have to go up before I go down. And we'll grab... No, we can grab water up here. Okay, I'll meet you guys at the top of the stairs, because we need to go get some cobblestone. Yeah, I think we had enough stuff. We can make... We only need nine of each, but I'll go ahead and like craft a few more of these, just because for some reason I'm paranoid I still won't have enough. But I think we'll be good at this point. And then we can grab the two buckets out of here because we're going to need a ton of buckets. But I just, yeah, we at least, I at least want to have an infinite water source wherever we build this. The rest of these will have to be filled with, like, we can throw these bows into uh, here. We even had some bows in there. And then, like, the nether cord, like the redstone, we can compact a little bit. So we'll, com we'll compact that up as much as we can. And then we don't need this with us, which is sad because I brought it over there to bring it to the enchanting area and I forgot. But it's okay. It's all good. I'm sure that's how it ended up in that situation anyways. Okay. So we need to go. Oh, you are in the way, Mr. Horsey. I'm very sorry. Oh, it caught the very end of the sunset there. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go and get smooth stone now. I don't know exactly how much we'll need, but I'm, I know I'm going to end up needing a lot of trap doors too because of how creepers spawn. But at the same time, it could be an all mobs farm and then just have creepers at it. I don't know, let's see how much wood we have because the amount of trap doors I'm gonna need would mean we need to mine the chonk tree, which is fine, but I, I need to assess if we even have close to enough. We shall see, let's look. How much do we have? Hmm, no more anywhere else. Well, let's just see how many trapdoors that ends up making. Do I have a crafting table? I do. Very interesting spot. I guess I kind of had to put it there. Trapdoor. <laughs> I forgot how expensive trapdoors are. They're like the one thing in the game that makes no sense. Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, let me mine the chonk tree. 
and I'm gonna start filling these bad boys up with smooth stone, but like we don't need the nether quartz in our inventory right now. Yeah, we'll keep a little bit of wood. But we're gonna need a lot of the smooth stone. So let me transfer the oh, let me transfer this stuff real quick. Okay, that's two shulker boxes full. Nice. And then hopefully this axe has enough durability to survive the junk tree. We still have a bed with us, good. Again, I don't know how far away we'll build this. I don't know, we might end up building it somewhat close to home. Uh, just really high up in the sky. And then just kinda, I guess we'd have to build a ladder up to it if we're not using the elytra. Well, we'll have to build a ladder up there the first time anyways. Cause it would be kinda nice to put it in the sky and surround it with tinted glass. We could make it look really nice. Like it's a cool shape. It's kind of that diamond shape, you know? Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna watch the YouTube mine this chunk tree. I'll see you guys in a bit. We'll see how much see how much we end up getting. Probably quite a bit. Hopefully enough. We'll see. I kinda of for forgot to record because I broke this whole tree while watching a video and I just completely forgot. Okay, but we broke the whole tree. Uh, we got a lot of wood. I made a little project chest that we're gonna instantly remove, but we needed like the space to actually craft this stuff out because we got a lot of wood, like a lot. I, I don't know how many trap doors this will equal. Probably not as many as we deserve, that's for dang sure. But it'll be enough to get us there and probably get close to being done with it. If we have to go get more, that's okay. I shouldn't put them in here. I shouldn't put them in here. Okay, now I can take everything back out. Okay, we're full up. We can't carry anything else. So let's build this thing. I, again, I don't know exactly where to build it, and I'm also gonna definitely need like a few stacks of stone to like get up there and stuff. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there anything? I mean, I have so many pickaxes and stuff that I don't need. What I'm gonna do, I think, is bring some paper with me so that I can actually make some fireworks so I can use the elytra to get up and down, but I don't have mending on it. But we'll use it like temporarily because otherwise we'll literally have no way to get up and down. I don't think I have enough wood to craft enough ladders. So we'll, we'll use temporary rocket boosts, uh, which I believe, I don't know if we have any more paper, but I know we have a, obviously enough sugar cane. I don't think I left any paper in here. We're full up on inventory space. Is there anything I can clear out? I think it's the nether quartz. I just don't, I don't need that. So we'll put it, we'll put it in here. So that way it's not technically in the wrong chest. And then we'll take some of this and we'll make it straight into paper. There we go. Okay, 63 paper at 63 rockets. What can we throw out? 45 sticks, I am sorry. I'm going to take a shulker box. Okay, so now we can build up high enough. 128 blocks up should be good. Uh, again, I don't know exactly where we want to build this thing, but I, it may be kind of smart to actually build it like directly in the center-ish of this because this will be dug down really far. All the caves will obviously be lit up. So I think we'll end up doing this. And plus, I, I believe I've explored most of the caves except apparently that one that are under this area. So that'll definitely help as well. I know usually it's recommended you build it in the ocean or whatever, but we should be fine. Okay. This feels like close to the middle so now we pillar up 128 blocks see you guys in a little bit well here we up here we are very high up in the sky we're at y level 209 so if i go up any higher i won't be able to build the rest of this thing out but i need like space to like sprawl out and put a few things down because otherwise we're not going to be able to get we're going to be able to get our footing here so basically how this thing works is water pushes them off of a Actually, do we have any wood at all? Oh, we have it. Thank God. We have enough for a crafting table. That's really all we need. Uh, I, I might have put some in here, but probably not. No, we don't have any. I mean, we're right next to home. It's just kind of hard to get back up here unless... Well, I need to make infinite water first. Hold on. Priorities, guys. Priorities. And we'll make a compact one. Okay. So we'll get infinite water. We could just do a water stream down. I don't know. Sometimes I just have these brain farts, especially this week. My brain has been a little taxed. So I do uh, I do think it's causing a little more uh, brain flatulence than usual. I'm never going to say that again. That was weird. But look at this. That's perfect. Okay. So now we have a way up and down. We don't need any wood, but if we do need it, we have a good way to get it. Uh, I 
of want to make a project chest. I may end up going down there like pretty soon because I really want a project chest. I also don't want to build this platform out to be too big and then end up like, you know, I don't know. I just, I, I don't want to build it out to be too big. I just want to have enough room where I don't feel like I'm going to fall off the face of the earth. Literally, if I mess up. Do something like this. There we go. Should be able to go down there if I need to. Okay. Yeah. Should be fine. Okay, so let's take the stone. And I am going to go down there. I'm going to grab enough wood to make a chest. And I'll meet you guys back up there. Pretty crazy to see the world from this high up. Only other time we'd see it like this is, you know, if we had an elytra or something. But CBC SOG is doing nice. Can't, well, we can see a few cows down there. But it is doing very nice. Everything looks good. I like this world. I like this world a lot. This quarry, if you notice, is absolutely massive. It's like as big as this area right here that we're going to dig down. We can't do it for a little bit because someone has to always be watching the puppy, but we'll get it done eventually. I mean, this world, like I said, is a very long-term world. It's a very long-term world. I couldn't find any wood, and I didn't want to wait for trees to grow, so I just uh, elected to take some chests from chests I found in the breeder area. I'm just going to put up the trap doors for now because I need to be able to take a ton of stone. Uh, I don't know exactly how much, but like a decent bit of stone. Okay. So, the creepers obviously have to like fall into something. I don't really care about their XP. So, let's just go like up here. And let's just build... What I need to do is I need to build one section of this thing. They need to fall far enough. Only go up like 30 blocks here. That's fine. Okay. We could build the platform that they fall on too. Eh, I gotta go back down. Hold on. About to be night. I don't want to be there when it's night. It's okay. We'll we'll break this and go back up easy. Well, let me sleep real quick. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I need to build like a place for them to all fall onto. And I, I but before I do that, I need to figure out how big the actual like platforms for the spawning areas are because I don't remember quite how big it is but I know it's like obviously one bucket of water worth so let's go one this is a two three four five six seven eight it just needs to push them to the edge and this would be two three four five six seven eight and let me do that on these two axes okay so now that I have this done all I have to do is fill in the middle I was going to use half slabs for this, but honestly, we have so much stone that I don't really think it matters. And as long as it's ex exactly like diagonal like that, it should work. I, it's been so long since I built one of these, but I don't think I've forgotten how to build it. And I think this is kind of like the standard mob farm now because they definitely work the best and they don't like have mobs wandering around in them aimlessly until they walk into like a you know, a channel of water with trapdoors around it. Nothing like that. So these are like super duper efficient. And I remember we could get like all, an entire chest full of gunpowder in like 12 hours. So overnight you can get a ton. Let's just uh, test in a second to see if this is the right shape. Okay, so if we put water right in the middle, which is right here, then it should go to the edges but not fall off anywhere. Yeah, we're in business. Okay, cool. So we have this platform built. Uh, now we need to get down to this. I can fall into this water here. That was a little bit risky. And now we need to build the platform that they're going to fall into. So, hmm. I guess we need to... I probably should have gotten some more wood, but it's okay. I could, I could build a little rudimentary staircase. This will work fine. Just because I know the platform's going to have to be, like, not significantly bigger, but, like, three or four blocks out from that, at least. Okay, and then just in case we need to get anywhere else around on here. Okay, let's see here. Yes, yeah, so it just needs to be like further out than this. Probably, probably is this exactly, yeah, so like by one, two, three, maybe four. Four blocks is probably fine. Maybe I'll regret that. I have no idea, but I'll go ahead and do that on all four sides now real quick. Okay, and then as we did up there, we will just kind of connect these real quick. So let me do that. And basically just make a bigger diamond shape down here. 
That way when they fall, they don't fall off the edge and they will uh, fall into like a hopper. Uh, basically, since we have so much iron, ooh, what did we do wrong? Oh, I see. Since we have so much iron, uh, I don't mind like covering this entire thing with hoppers, like this whole like diamond shape we're about to build with hoppers. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so we have the outline built and now we just fill her in. And then I'll get the hoppers later, but we definitely have enough iron to do that. I don't know if we have enough chests, so we'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to farm a few more trees, but that's okay. It doesn't take too much time at all. This is going quicker than I thought it would. I always thought these things were kind of hard to make, but they're really not too bad. They're really not. And I don't think this first platform is far, far enough for them to die. I think it needs to be like a minimum of 20 blocks. And if that's the case... And we just need to build it up a little bit higher, which is fine. It's super simple to do if we need to move it up. They're really quick to build. But I'll probably come back when I have like the layers built because there's really not much in between now and then that you even really need to see except me placing a bunch of blocks and probably coming back in the middle because I'm bored. But let's just fill this in on camera just to give you an idea of where I'm going with it. I think you've seen these get built before too, probably. Okay, nice. And so basically... Yeah, I don't know. We, we may end up going one more block out. Or two. Let's try two and see how much better it looks. Or, well, not better, but you know what I mean. Let, let's try two more out. Okay, this feels a lot better. Because uh, when they fall from the top, there's a chance to, like, go over to the side. And while this is a lot more hoppers, I think it'll be perfectly fine. And, like, obviously this thing won't be here. Try to imagine it without this. And I realized we could have made all of this into stone brick. And it would have looked a little bit better, but... Hey, that's okay. That's okay. So, it needs to be a minimum of 20 blocks from this, I think, for them to die. Maybe 21. So, let's just take 21 pieces of stone. There's no way we can mess this up. And that's where the first layer of this will be. We'll have to remember to remove this bottom one. And we have enough stone to build it, too. So, I believe we go to Y256. Uh, which is, like, 28... No, it's only 18 blocks away. Wait, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if we're going to be able to build very many layers, actually. Oof, okay. E hmm. hmm. We could kill them manually. We could kill them manually, but it required a little bit of water work. Let's just, let's just see how many layers we can build. So what I'll do is I'll, like, start a little mini layer like right here, right? So we'll pretend this is a full layer. And then we gotta go up. One, two, three. Then we can do another layer like this. If we can get at least six, then we should be good. But I think the top of it requires a little bit of space to have like the redstone, the timer that makes the actual farm work and the water dispense. We also really shouldn't be up here when it's dark. So we'll put water down, that'll make this a little bit easier. Okay, let's try to hurry our way down. Oh, there's already mobs here. Oh no, 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 not like this, not like this, not like this. <laughs> I should have foreseen this coming. It's okay, if we put some torches down, we'll be fine. Jeez, dude, that was almost super bad. It's not hardcore, but I still don't want to die. Too young to die, man. I'm too young to die. I can't believe I'm 25, though. I still think about that all the time. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay. And this doesn't need to be here. Nor this. Yeah, hey, you're spawning in the right spot, just not at the right time. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're already getting pretty. Oh, no, 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 no. Bucket. Oh, nice. Where'd you go? Oh. Stacked up with your pals, huh? Well, good for you, Mr. Bucket. As long as we have one block of space above it, then we'll be fine. But I know we're getting up there. Hopefully it's higher than 256, but I have a feeling it's at 256. I don't know, though. I don't know. Oh, man. This is a high-stakes situation here. Nope. Boom, boom. We're at 253. Wait, what? 
thought it was 256. What? How high up can you build? I was worried about something that wasn't even... Bruh. Okay, now I'm just like kind of mad, so I gotta find out high, how high up you can build. It's gonna be some weird number, isn't it? Three hundred and nineteen, really? I mean, I'm happy about that, but I did not expect that. Oh yeah, and I remember on top of this thing, you also have to build like a really tall, uh, um, or a really wide, like like something like bigger than this to make it dark all the time here. But if we surrounded it with tinted glass, we wouldn't have to do that. But I don't have like a reliable source of amethyst, so I don't really want to go with that for now. Okay, well anyways, I'm going to build like a bunch of these. Exactly how this one is. Uh, so you're really not going to miss much. I'll come back when I'm done building them. It's just going to be a lot of grinding, a lot of, a lot of building. But I'm going to watch some YouTube, which is nice. Take a, little, take a little building break. It's kind of therapeutic for me to build. Oh, and it's a nice rainy day outside look at that beautiful we're gonna get some mob spawning for sure that's great but hey doesn't matter I'm, I'm, I'm up here in my own little bubble doing a little bit of building i'll see you when the layers are built okay well after a few trips down to the uh earth lands to grab more stone i think we're done uh well we have still have to build like the redstone part but we have all the layers built which is nice and then i have that cap built which will hopefully make this thing dark enough and I have a water stream going through the middle, so we'll go up through all the layers. I still have to add all the trap doors, which won't take a super long time. We'll do that off camera. Uh, I don't even think, yeah, I don't have the trap doors with me. Luckily, we still have a little bit of extra stone, but yep, all the layers are built, all nine of them. And then this top layer is where the clock will be, and this also provides darkness, so it kind of shields all of these layers. So water will appear here, push the mobs off. They will fall and hopefully land inside of there. We may build like a little wall around it or something. Uh, yeah, I don't want to risk trying to go down that. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. I don't think I can swim down there either. I'll just have to hold down shift. Okay, so I'm going to take trap doors. Oh, yes, definitely dark enough. That's good. Um, I'm going to take... Hey, creeper, you're supposed to be here for once. Uh, that was my mistake. Very easy fix. Very easy fix. Uh, but yes, I'm going to grab trap doors. I don't know if we'll have enough. I'll let you know if we do. If not, I'll just farm some trees off camera. But now the next step to make creepers spawn here only is to put trap doors on all the ceiling. So it shouldn't take like too long. It's just kind of like an awkward positioning, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'll come back when this is done and hopefully we have enough trap doors. Okay, trapdoors are done being placed. I did have to get a few more trees, but we actually ended up having almost enough because these really aren't too big, which is nice. I was happy that I did not have to go farm trees because they take a little bit to grow. I didn't want to go to my dungeon. I guess I could have gone to my dungeon this entire time. Please don't. Please don't do me like this. I put my bow up, I believe, and I don't I don't have it. Please. Good sir. Thank you very much. Um, we just need to make the buckets now, and each one of them needs to be filled. Okay, don't think we'll need quite as many as I'll end up making. We need nine, so we just need six more. Okay, yeah, we'll be okay. And then we should be able to put up some of these materials. We don't need all this extra wood. Or this bone, matter of fact. Nice, okay. So it's a fairly simple pattern. It's really not like super complicated. Uh, we need to start with the bottom one and kind of work our way upwards and then I'll have to look up how to make the timer at the top because I don't know the exact dimensions I guess for the timer oh this might be a little difficult okay so you put the dispenser facing upwards like that and then put a block here well you fill it with a water bucket and then you put a block here hmm yeah, like this. Okay, so you put a block here, and then you need an observer facing that way, like that, I believe, right? Uh, I don't know, I can't see the arrow on the side. 
Uh, no, it needs to be facing the other way. <laughs> okay, well this this will take a little bit, but that's okay. So it'll observe the water being placed there. Okay, cool. And then we can put this back. And then break this. And then we put the dispenser right here. And then we kind of repeat the pattern. So you will put like an observer right here. Sorry. An observer right here. Wait. Bruh. <laughs> this might be a little bit more difficult than I had planned. So let me let me finish doing this. And then we'll come back. Because yeah, I think the arrow is the arrow facing the right way. No, the arrow needs to be facing downwards. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. All right. Well, that took longer than I care to admit. I lit up the top of this thing because apparently you're supposed to build it with slabs. I found a little video, but I also forgot that spiders can spawn, but you can see there's quite a few creepers, so I'm perfectly happy with this. I think it will work just fine. And, uh, yeah, I've gotten myself in a little bit of a pickle. Oh, well, it looks like they all fall and die, which is perfect. We'll have to put hoppers down there at some point, but for now, let's just see if we can get this bad boy working. So we'll put this down. And then I believe it's super simple. I have everything built. So we just need a lever here. And then we need a comparator. And then we need to turn it on. And then we just need a bunch. I don't know how this is going to activate it. I, I have no idea. I, I guess I need to use eight. Okay. And then oh, I don't have any redstone. Hold on. Let me go get it. Okay. Redstone is acquired. And... Now we just need to bring this line of repeaters over, move the torches one block over two, just like that, and then connect these repeaters. Now you're supposed to use a maximum tick duration, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just set them all to be maximum. I still have my doubts that this is going to work just because of the fact that, like, how is a redstone repeater on top of a dispenser going to do anything? I have no idea, but let's try it. Oh no, we started two signals. It definitely works though. We started two signals, hold on. Okay, let's just turn it on and then go down there and watch it. Okay, there we go. I don't know how a repeater above a dispenser does anything. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I have no idea what that is about, but I do know that it does seem to be working. I don't know why there's creepers down there though, what? Wait, do mobs that fall from this bottom one not die? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so that creeper died. Can we get some creepers to spawn on another layer? I mean, if we have to build the kill platform a little bit lower, that's okay. Why is that one not activating? Why is that one not activating? All the rest of them are, aren't they? Yeah? So then why is this one not activating? Hmm. Let me do some investigating. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to get over there, to say the least definitely going to be a little bit tricky, but it's okay. We shall figure it out together. I don't know why there's creepers down there. They can't spawn because I put torches down there. Um, do I even have a bucket of water? I do not have a bucket of water. Okay, I'm going to have to get that first. Ooh, this is... <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't exactly love this situation. Okay. Yeah, if these guys are one shot, then yeah, so one of the layers isn't far enough down, technically. So maybe that's a fall 21 blocks. I thought I counted 21. Hmm. I don't know, but I guess that dispenser is empty. I have no idea how I missed a dispenser. I brought the exact amount of buckets. Odd. Very odd. Maybe it got like off like a uh, rhythm and it is activated when the other ones aren't. No, because it's not activated now. I don't know. We shall find out together. Come here, creeper. This would be so much easier. This would be so much easier. Please, I cannot, I cannot risk this, this blowing up. There we go. That was actually super helpful. Thank you very much. Yeah, you come over here a little bit closer. I don't want them getting any ideas. Please, sir, no blowing up. Okay. So what is going on here? I didn't put, what? Okay, well, they're out right now, so I need to wait. Okay, and then put it in. Okay, we should be good. We should be good. Okay, we can, uh, there we go. Nice. I still don't know about, <laughs> I guess we need to make the layer that they, uh, 
fall onto one block lower, something like that. But either way, I mean, we have a successful farm. And I think if we just sit up at the top and like make a little AFK spot that's a little bit higher than the top platform, we should be good. But we'll work on it a little bit more next episode. I have to go to bed. I am super tired. But I am really happy that we got back in the world. And we... Oh! Nice. I'm happy we got back in the world and actually completed a pretty big project. So this is going to really help leapfrog this world a little bit further. Because um, eventually we can do... You know, once we have auto crafters in the next... Uh, oh my gosh, I don't... This is kind of uncomfortable. Once we have auto crafters, it... You know, and this is a nice string slash creeper farm it doesn't really matter if you get a little string i guess we could go in there and creeper proof it at some point maybe do that between episodes watching youtube or something but thank you guys very much for watching today's episode i do hope that you guys did enjoy it i had a lot of fun making it even though i know i know i don't sound like i'm having fun i promise i am i'm just trying to talk a little bit quieter and plus i'm super tired but yeah uh oh 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 what oh it must be the repeater <laughs> okay we should be good. It, it's okay. Yeah, it's just that piece of redstone there. Sweet. Well, the secret code for today's episode is going to be 8363. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Again, secret code 8363. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Again, I'm going to try to do about one of these a week as well as a couple of the Skyblock videos. So if you miss me, go watch the Skyblock videos. I promise you. They're still kind of like this, except they're on a server. They're just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always laid back. Whatever series we're doing, is try, I try to be pretty laid back. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!